Beneficiary pupils of the school feeding program across the country will have to find alternative ways of feeding until such a time the caterers who have been on strike since Monday, May 16, rescind their decision. Those without alternatives, unfortunately, will have to go on empty stomachs. The caterers are demanding payment of two term arrears owed them and an increment of the cost allocation per head, which is currently pegged at one city, of which the caterers get 97 pesos and the government takes three pesos as tax. This amount, the caterers say, is woefully inadequate in the face of escalating costs of food prices. Yeah, it's all oil. 70 cities. Says here, oil I call. Uh, 480. Yeah, the best free one. Yeah, the free one. Almost 600. Say, yeah, two. Yeah, my mom. Number seven, two, yeah, yeah. 97 pesos. In, one. in truth, 97 pesos a day cannot afford a ball of kinky on the open market. It can't even afford a bald egg. It can merely buy at most three sachets of water and nothing more. Yet, this is the same amount that is supposed to be used to provide a hot, nutritious meal for each pupil daily. The caterers insist things must change. This isn't the first time. In September 2021, they appealed to the government to increase the amount to one city 50 pesos. Now, they want it to increase to three cities. In March 2022, the caretaker minister for gender, children and social protection, Celia Dapa, said an expansion of the program was on hold to allow debts of the caterers to be cleared. She also assured measures were being put in place to ensure the program runs effectively and efficiently. A meeting between the caterers and the school feeding program secretariat on Monday, May 16, over the strike ended unsatisfactorily, leaving the pupils to roast in the crossfire. They said they don't have any increment to give us. They don't know when school feeding is going to increase it. So for that matter, school feeding caterers, we are not going to cook. They said the 97 pesos is unchanged. That's the English that they used. So now we want the increment and how much are they going to pay us? Executive Director of Africa Education Watch, Kofi Asari, would rather the caterers took the war to the Ministry of Finance for the needed funds. The school feeding caterers will have to also move to the Ministry of Finance and find out from the Minister of Finance where the 880 or so million Ghana cities that he announced for the school feeding program's expansion is and where is the increment that they promised them. Head of Public Relations at the School Feeding Program Secretariat, Siba Alpha, blames the inability to pay up the caterers on economic difficulties. All of us know the conditions that we are in now, the economic situation, the inflation and threat, everything. So it's not only affecting school feeding. I'm sure other uh, agencies too are facing similar problems. The 2022 budget captures an estimated 3.4 million pupils in over 10,000 public basic schools as beneficiaries of the program's one hot nutritious meal daily in 2021. Over 32,000 caterers are said to have been employed. Initiated in 2005, the program was aimed at decreasing the prevalence of hunger and boosting food security among kindergarten and primary school children in the country. It has since undergone challenges over the years, including financing, low quality and rationed meals, and now no meals. Until the government intervenes for the caterers to resume cooking, the pupils have their fate in their hands.